The official trailer for the upcoming South Korean science fiction thriller Jung Yi has been released on YouTube and other social media platforms. The two minute footage of this Young Sang Ho directed film shows us a dystopian new age society in which artificial intelligence is both humanity's greatest blessing and its worst misfortune. Netflix has just released the trailer for Jung Yi following the release of an official teaser last month. Sang Ho, following the success of Netflix's dark fantasy television series Hellbound, departs from supernatural genre films and shows to a post apocalyptic future where humanity is compelled to dwell in man made shelters due to rising sea levels and resource depletion. We will break down the trailer bit by bit and give you an overview of the dystopian world created by the director of Train to Busan. So, without wasting another second of your time, let's jump straight to the video. In the year 2194, when the Earth has become uninhabitable as a result of significant climate change, the movie Jung Yi's trailer portrays a dismal image of the future. The few remaining people are compelled to live in a man made shelter designed purely for survival. But even here, an internal struggle breaks out, causing anarchy to rule. As the conflict intensifies, it becomes apparent that cloning the AI being Jung Yi, who is seen as humanity's final hope, will be essential to win the war. The trailer shows scenes of devastation and unrest as the people struggle to prevail in a world that is about to end. The trailer starts with an upside down train that travels really high from the ground which suggests that the world we are seeing has been mostly consumed by seawater. And the trailer gives us an idea of the timeline by showing us a title card for the year 2194. We see some droids cleaning up on the ground like what we have seen in wall -E. At no point in the trailer do we see any greeneries that suggest that most of the forests and trees are gone due to the rise of the sea level. We see some human settlements too, but their living conditions are horrible like any other dystopian film. Then we cut to a space station or a modern human settlement where a faction of surviving humankind lives, and we are introduced to our protagonist Jung Yi, played by Kim Hyun Joo. Later in the trailer, we see Jung Yi with an ailing daughter bidding her goodbye before going on a dangerous mission. She offers her a little token that she thinks will protect her mother from upcoming dangers. Our guess is that Jung Yi is some sort of mercenary who is on a mission to retrieve something important that might ignite civil war inside this human settlement. But soon she gets attacked by some droids which leads to her eventual demise. Then we see Dr. Si Hyun played by Kang Soo Yoon promising to the kid that her mother will become a heroine forever. As she proceeds with a human enhancement experiment with the approval of the rulers of the oligarchs of the settlement. She and her colleague Sang Hoon then create an entire program around the deceased soldier to create AI operated clones of her body that have the same conviction and will as her but will have better durability than any other human soldiers. We then see them reincarnating her body with the help of futuristic machinery and artificial limbs. What happens after that is really disturbing as we see a reincarnated Jung Yi unable to feel her robotic body and the entire scientific team going bonkers as they push her through extreme physical and mental experiments that break her both externally and mentally. But after a long montage of torture, we see that Dr. Siu Jun feels guilty about the chain of events followed by her creation and frees Jung Yi in order to save her from this living hell. As they release her, we see mercenaries from all over the settlement trying to catch her or take her down. As she runs from the evil corporation that brought her back to life, she needs to face her most worthy adversaries, her own clones. She starts to get better control over her body and she kicks everyone's butt that comes after her. But we see the doctor in deep agony probably paying the price of releasing Zhang Yi from captivity. All the while, an internal conflict breaks out in the settlement and it seems Jung Yi will be the one to save all of the last remaining human beings. It becomes evident that the future of humanity is in jeopardy as the crisis worsens. Additionally, after the cloning is finished, the official clips begin to allude to the idea of using her knowledge and experience to change the course of the battle. However, with the stakes so high, it is uncertain whether this plan will succeed or if it will only lead to further distraction by AI. Near the end of the trailer, we see her being attacked by the same kind of droid again, but this time with AI enhancements, she seems to be at ease as the monster attacks her. Overall, the science fiction film's trailer conveys a sense of despair and hope at the same time as the characters fight for survival in a world decimated by dystopian greed and climate change. The movie promises to be a thought-provoking and distinctive contribution to the science fiction genre with its spectacular visuals and slick actions. Director Young Sang Ho is returning to direct a feature length film after two years, and this is going to be his second collaboration with Netflix. Along with him, Kang So Yoon is back after an eight year of absence, 
She is the first Korean actress to win the Best Actress Award at the Venice Film Festival, one of the big three film festivals in the world, for her role in The Surrogate Worm, released in 1986. So hopes are pretty high that Jung Yi will turn out to be a really great sci-fi venture from Netflix. The film is slated to be released on January 20, 2023 on Netflix. Hey, 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 thank you for watching this video. Do share your thoughts in the comment section about your expectations regarding Netflix's Jung Yi or your favorite Netflix Korean content. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to get your weekly dose of cinema and series. See you at the next one. And for the time being, we are signing off. Annyeong, Myanmar, and I'll be back.